Hi, I'm Walker from the Ruth Bancroft Garden, and today we're going to talk about control of sap-sucking insects, particularly mealybugs. Mealybugs are unarmed scale insects that feed on plant juices, and in addition to drawing the vigor out of your plants and disfiguring them, can also be vectors for various diseases. Mealybugs have a fluffy, cotton-like protective covering that is very distinctive and will be the telltale sign that you should look for when trying to identify them on your plants. In terms of control of these pests, there are various different methods that you can try. We always recommend the first step would be an application of 70% rubbing alcohol. Uh, rubbing alcohol is a very effective insecticide, sometimes fungicide, a product with a lot of uses. And we want to em emphasize the use of 70%, not 91%. Both can be found at the drugstore. 70% kills insects, 90% kills plants. Rubbing alcohol is a great first step in the treatment process. You can apply it by spray or by dabbing directly on the affected areas with a Q-tip. If it doesn't completely eradicate the mealybugs, at the very least it will weaken them and make them more susceptible to successive treatment methods. Treatment methods include mineral oils, natural oils like neem, pyrethrins, and systemic chemical insecticides. If the infestation is so bad that it requires the application of a systemic, we often recommend that you just throw the plant away to avoid contaminating your collection. Closely related to mealybugs, scale insects have a hard waxy shell, are mostly immobile in their feeding sites in the plants, and are somewhat more difficult to treat than mealybugs because of the protective shell. If you notice scale on your plants, the first thing to try is scraping or prying the insects off the infected areas. If that doesn't work, try rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip. If you still haven't eradicated the pests, try oils. The benefit of oils here is that they can smother the insect underneath its protective shell without having to penetrate. Another common pest you're likely to encounter on your succulent plants are aphids. Aphids tend to show up in the spring and fall, usually vanishing from the garden in the hottest and coldest parts of the year. Aphids are usually found at growth points and on emerging flower stalks. The good news is that they're very easy to blast away with water or wipe off with your finger. Aphids usually aren't a problem unless left unchecked for a very long time. If blasting them with water fails, you can always try biological controls like ladybugs or lacewings, or biological insecticides such as Bt or Spinosad. Chemical controls usually will not be necessary with aphids. The elephant in the room when discussing all of these sap-sucking insects are ants. Ants farm sap suckers, ferrying them from one host to another and feeding on the sweet honeydew that they produce. If you can control ants, You'll give the beneficial insects in your garden an opportunity to control the sap suckers, and it won't be such a large problem. As always, healthy plants are more resistant to pest infestations than weak plants. To ensure that your succulents are happy, provide plenty of light, plenty of air movement, and a free draining medium. I'm Walker from the Ruth Bancroft Garden. If you have any questions, stop by and we'd be happy to chat.